Hey guys, when I usually go out for barbecue in New York City, usually it's Korean barbecue or sometimes even Japanese barbecue. I've never actually uh, had Chinese or indoor Chinese barbecue before until today. You know, there's a bunch of Chinese barbecue stands all around in New York City, but I never had Chinese barbecue in an indoor setting before where I'm barbecuing my own meat. So this is really cool. Today I'm in Flushing at the Mingxin Barbecue Restaurant and today will be the first time I cook my own Chinese barbecue. So I'm excited. This seems to be like a Northeast Chinese slash Korean restaurant. So they brought up little uh, dishes for me. Also, they have all the typical seasoning you'll need for a typical Chinese barbecue. Uh, salt, and uh, this is actually the MSG right here. Red chili peppers. Although the red chili peppers typically used for Chinese barbecue, it's a lot finer than this. We have cumin, and we also have cumin powder. So that's pretty basic, but Chinese barbecue is fairly basic. The meat often is not even marinated. The seasoning are added as the meat cooks, and often the pepper and the cumin are not even added till uh, the meat is almost done cooking, which is really different than how we do barbecue here in the West, where we marinate the meats. We often add salt and pepper before the meat actually goes on the grill. Okay, check this out. The skewers here are uh, metal. This is just like in China. The barbecue skewers in China are typically metal skewers. They're not the typical bamboo skewers you see around New York City. I personally feel like the meat tastes much better on metal skewers because I feel like the metal skewers also heat the inside of the meat much better. Also, you know, there's less of a chance to get a splinter on your tongue. You know, it's really funny in China when I used to buy these skewers and they would have these set up just like in the US, like little food carts around the city. The metal skewers they used in China were actually the metal spokes inside the uh, bicycle wheels. Also, I just want to say I'm like a food ninja. Last week, I found an awesome and I mean super awesome, super authentic, uh, super affordable Northeast. Chinese place in Flushing. It really has some of the most authentic, tasty Northeastern Chinese dishes I have ever had in this city. And I think some of the best value anywhere. Here's how I found it. I was parking my car and when I got out of my car from like 20 feet away, I heard these people going into a restaurant and they were just quietly talking amongst each other. And I heard one of them say, this is the most authentic Northeastern Chinese restaurant in New York City. So I walked in, got a menu, and 20 dishes later, this is now my favorite Northeastern Chinese restaurant in New York City. No, I didn't eat all that by myself. How I found this place, I was parking my car, I look up and I see uh, Chinese barbecue. As soon as I walked in, I knew I had to have it. So that's how I find places to eat. I just drive around and just park in random places and then eavesdrop on Chinese people's conversations. So just saying, Food Ninja, always picking up clues about where the good eats are. Okay guys, my fire is ready, check it out. This is the little stove they set up for me. If you look at the charcoal, this is really important. To do proper Chinese barbecue, you have to use wood charcoal. So you guys see all the wood charcoal in there? That gives it a lot of flavor. So I got 10 lamb and 10 beef skewers. I also got uh, five chicken gizzards. The lamb and beef are typically the most common skewers you'll probably order. The lamb is fattier. I feel like the meat is very juicy, but you also gotta have the beef. All right guys, check it out. My meat is cooking over a roaring wood charcoal fire. Oh, everything is smelling so good. And this will cook really quickly. Oh man, I can smell so awesome. And when it's about ready, I'm going to start spraying some spices on here. So I have a mix of lamb, beef, and chicken gizzards here. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like cooking your own barbecue makes it taste better. Maybe it's the caveman in me. Fire, good. Meat, good. I'm going to put more cumin powder over this. And then uh, spray some hot chili pepper all over my meat. This is redonkulous. This, these are my chicken gizzards. If you never had chicken gizzards, give it a try. The texture is really crunchy, and this is so much better than going to a street cart and ordering a bunch of skewers, because after you eat the first skewer, all the rest of your skewers are cold. Here, your skewer is always gonna be nice and hot. Let's try the beef. Mm. I really do believe that the middle skewers make a difference and this tastes much better than something on a bamboo skewer. Oh man, the lamb is so nice and fatty. This is perfect. This whole experience is fun. This is a fun experience. You know, I like doing this much better than Korean barbecues. Look at my roaring fire. This is crazy. All the grease from the meat is falling into the fire. Oh, this smells so good. This tastes so awesome. I love cumin powder on my skewers. There's something about the smell of cumin powder that's being roasted. It smells so awesome. Look at that. Look at the meat. See the fat drizzling off the meat? Oh man, look how beautiful that is. You know how there's screensavers of mountain streams or thunderstorms? They should make a screensaver of just like meat over a roaring fire. 
Now the key to seasoning is you don't want to take the meat off and then dip it in the seasoning because then you're biting into salt. What you want to do is cook the meat until it's almost done. Then you're going to sprinkle the salt, cumin, and pepper directly onto the skewers and over the fire. This way you won't bite into any salt crystals and the seasoning will soak into the meat much better. You can also play wizard. Bam! It'd be better if there was a big flaming effect, but yeah. Check out this lamb skewer, guys. Look at this. Covered in seasoning, salt and pepper, and some cumin. Here, you want some? Take a bite. Take a bite. Go ahead. This is how you're supposed to eat meat on a metal skewer over fire. All right, guys. So I have over 20 more skewers to tackle. So I'm gonna get to it. All the information for this place is in the description box below. Come and check it out. This is a really cool experience. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.